Bismillah. Assalamu alaikum, Watwa family. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Mr. Watwa. Today, today, today. Hey, yo. Skr, skr, man. Check this out. Alright, guys, we got the video today. It's a rebirth story. Alright, let's get into it. Now, remember, this is your first time on the channel. Make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Watwa family. Also, before we get started, start it. Put a like on this video. Remember, if you got a video you want me to react to, get down in the comment section, post the link, and I will get to it, guys. Oh, we got Ramadan coming up. Ramadan is coming up in two months. Now, with Twa Family, y'all know we have a Twa Family Foundation. We have a GoFundMe link and we have a PayPal link down below in the description. If you could, please help because we're going to make sure that we make Ramadan the best Ramadan this year. And plus, guys, this is going to be my first Ramadan as a Muslim man. I have to lie. It's going to be great. It's going to be amazing. So if you haven't subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you can see it. And make sure you put the post notification bell on so you can get the video first. All right, let's go ahead and get into this, man. A Shahada. I'll praise it to Allah. Let's get into it. With two. Bismillah. I moved to Winter Haven to be with my twin sister. And I had left the, the local church that I was in and I, I felt sad that I was leaving. But when I think about it, I've been in many, many denominations, in and out, in and out. And the local church was the last church that I was in. And one evening, I just decided to go to God. For no reason at all, I just went to God in prayer and asked Him that I wanted the truth no matter what it takes. Well, I said this three different times, three different days. And then one night I was uh, ready for, uh, to retire when uh, uh, with the doorbell rang and my twin said, your daughter's here. And I says, my daughter, which one? And she said, Lou. So anyway, I went to greet her and came back, and I saw her, she was all covered differently. I'm an American citizen, uh, born in a suburb of Chicago, Illinois, called Evergreen Park. And both of my parents were born in Chicago, Illinois. My mother's side of the family was Roman Catholic. My father's side, Protestant. I had mentioned to my daughter, oh, Lou, I've been praying for the truth, no matter what it takes. And I said this three different times. I returned to the United States and I went to my mother. Uh, I was praying constantly at my mother's house for guidance from God as to whether or not I should say anything to my mother about who I was or, or what I believed. I, I was praying actually to my God that if my mother's heart is ready to hear this information, then give me a sign. Let her come to me. If she comes to me and asks me, I will say something to her. Otherwise, I will remain silent. One afternoon, I was in the middle of my prayers. I was in prostration and she walked into my bedroom and walked out. Because I saw her kneeling that night and she was prostrated. And I, hmm, that seems strange to me. Seven o'clock in the morning, uh, my mother came to me asking, waking me up from sleep and asking me two specific questions. She said, I'm so sorry to disturb you, uh, but I just have to ask you two things. And I said, well, go ahead, Mom, what is it? And she said to me, are you still a Christian? And what do you think about what the Christians teach regarding the Trinity? That the God is three and one and one and three. My response to my mother at that moment was, tonight, when your sister goes to sleep, I will be happy to sit with you and to explain to you who I am and why I am who I am. And uh, after my sister went to sleep, and she would share. So at 12 o'clock that night, my mother's sister went to sleep and 
Mom and I gathered around a small table in a breakfast nook of the kitchen. On top of the table, I had the Quran, the Bible, and my own personal study, uh, handwritten study notebook. We sat and had a discussion for two hours, uh, going back to our original uh, beliefs and progressing through what we've always been taught, both in the Catholic Church, in the Protestant churches. And then I introduced uh, Islam to my mother, the Quran, and the Prophet Muhammad, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. When I completed, we both completed this discussion, it was exactly two hours later, two o'clock in the morning. And my mother reached over on the table. I picked up the Quran and held it to my face and kissed it. I stated, why hasn't anyone told us about this? Why hasn't anyone told us about this? Noor taught me how to pray, how to wash before prayer. How to perform the uh, correct body movements for ritual uh, prayer. And encourage her to memorize the opening uh, chapter or surah of the Quran, which is called the opening in Arabic, Al-Fatiha. Uh, and to memorize this in English in English and some in Arabic. She was memorizing and working on memorizing this in English so that she would have a clear understanding of the meaning of her prayer first, and then gradually she progressed. So then I continued with my reading and studying the Quran. After uh, I completed my mother in her house and I felt comfortable that she was fine. Uh, I left my mother's uh, home to take care of some personal matters uh, of myself. I've been in Islam for many, for many years, reading, reading, and reading, and studying, and praying. And then one night, Allah guided me to an ayat and a surah, and it mentioned this day. I have perfected your religion. Praise Allah. Go the extra mile. What's my family? Please get down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the video. Also, if you got a video you want me to react to, please get down in the comment section. Post the link and I will get to it. Um, with Swap Family, I just want to say thank you guys so much for posting these links in the comment section and you know also uh, sending me links on Facebook. If we're not friends on Facebook, just um, uh, find me on Facebook at Mr. Watwa. Also on Instagram as well, Mr. Watwa. Um, the reason why, I think the reason why I became so emotional through this video is because it, it reminded me of when I took my Shahada about the fears that I had and um, you know uh, and it's crazy because it's like I want to wait till Ramadan um, this month not this month my bad this year I want to wait till Ramadan this year to explain to you guys what's been going on you know with me and, and being Muslim it's, it's a lot going on and it's you know you know, I, I have certain family members that accepted it, and then I have certain family members that don't even want to have nothing to do with me anymore. I'm talking about someone who's, you know, graduated from college, someone who's excelled through sports, someone who's excelled through life, and because I picked a, picked a religion that's more comfortable to me, something that I feel more true to me, I don't feel like that's a reason for you to, you know, exclude me as your family you know I, I just don't understand it I'm, I'm not out here you know doing all this crazy stuff that you that you see people doing out in the streets 
I'm not out here doing that. I'm literally, I'm a very great man. I'm a great man. I've grown into a great man and I don't understand why there's certain family members that I have that does not accept me for who I am and accept the religion that I, I that I love so much, bro. Like, I don't understand it. I really don't. And it's okay because I'm going to wait until Ramadan and I'm explaining all of it. I'm explaining everything during Ramadan, bro.